Good morning, internet, and welcome to my not intro. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my first episode of the American Tank Tech Tree. Now, I am a bit salty right now. I have been recording for 45 minutes and just realized my mic was muted. Now, let's get into it. I'm not going to make this a long haul again like I did in the last one that you won't even be able to watch because my mic was off. Now, let me explain how we're going to do this. Each episode I make, there's not going to be a certain schedule because it's whenever I can make one, is going to be rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, rank 4, and maybe rank 5. Right now, I don't have a lot researched in rank 5, and you know, getting up to rank 5, you start having missiles, and, and, and scorpions, and, 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 yes, 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 get over here. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe from the Vulcan. Yes. 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 More. More. More and more. Now, ignoring that, I'm sorry, one man can't have the power of a minigun. <laughs> We're gonna be going on to my favorite tier one tanks. Hooray! Now, let me explain about the more intricate way I'm going to explain. I'm going to pick three of my favorite tanks from the rank. Now, rank 1 goes from 1.0 to 2.7 as seen by the M3 Lee. In this first episode, I'm going to cover 1.3s and 1.0s. Now, this is what you would call reserve tanks because 1.3s you are basically reserve tanks. Now, what my favorite tanks are at 1.3 are the M3 A1 Stewart, the M2 Medium Tank, and the M13 MGMC. Now, let's give you a little background info on these tanks. The M3 A1 Stewart was made by the American Mighty Military Might. Yes, I know a lot about history. Uh, it was made as a infantry support tank, as is the M2. The M13, though, was made for shooting down aircraft and also infantry, mostly because it has dual 50 cals. Let's go into the M3A1 Stuart more. M3A1 Stuart, 38 mils of armor, 38 here, 50 here. People will not be able to pen you here. Sometimes a lucky shot will, but behind it's a big old cannon breach. Behind this, even more, is 38 mils of armor. They'll mostly bounce off here. Mostly people will shoot you around here in the little corners if they do get a lucky shot, and right in the turret ring. Your turret ring is really exposed here. And that could lead to some major, major shrapneling, which will end to these two guys' deaths. No one will be able to pen you here unless you're facing like this. You're above the enemy, then they will definitely be able to pen you. Or even around here. Just make sure you're either kind of right here with them. In this area, this, this, this kind of slanted right here. So you're driving the tank. This kind of slant right here. You want to turn the tank, turn your turret this way because what this does it gives you maximum armor for this instead of a 38 it gives you 43 armor this it gives you a 38 40 this gives you 71 no one will be able to go through your uh, lower glaciers and this gives your side armor an effective thickness of 70 here is I mean it's covered by the bottom so you want to be careful about this whole thing now, what I mostly use this tank as, as kind of a rushing, you know, rushing the cap point, uh, flanking enemies, uh, but at 1.0, all tanks are kind of used the same. Uh, tanks are, have fast-firing guns, they don't have good armor, the guns can usually pen the armor, there's not really any bias at Tier 1. That's why a lot of people enjoy Tier 1. Um, the only I found when I first started playing tanks is that... I would take out this M301 Stuart after I researched it. 
at the time I didn't even I didn't even care about like I didn't care about round penetration. I didn't care about I didn't even know what these modifications were. I didn't know what half of the stuff on my screen was. It was just point and click for me. And that it just tanks I feel is much more intriguing than planes cuz it's I feel like planes is more strategic. People, you know what? People can argue, but right now, we're, let's focus on tanks. The M2. This is a medium tank at 1.3. The only other country with a medium tank at, at 1.3 is the um, Germans. I'm not sure about the Japanese. They're adding that, and I know that the Americans are going to be faced with the Japanese a lot in realistic battles now because that happened in realistic. So here is a 53 degrees sloped 28 millimeters of armor but its effective thickness just facing the enemy is about 39. People will mostly bounce. A lucky shell will pen. Most people will shoot here. That will get your driver and if they have a lucky shot it might shrapnel and uh, hurt the commander and the commander in this tank is shooting and reloaded the cannon. Now this tank has really trolly armor around here. You get a lot of bounces as, as it so shows here, right facing. This is 78, 81 millimeters effective thickness. Here it drops to 33. It's still slanted though, but people will mostly shoot you in your uh, machine gunner ports because if you get one lucky shot, the, the round will pass through one guy into the other guy. And that basically guarantees two less uh, men that you could replace. Now, the best thing about this tank, you have six crew members. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you get shot once here, he gets immediately replaced by this guy. It is, I've stayed alive in this tank where there's only two people left, and I've been in fire from the enemies for, I have bullet holes all around it. It's just, it's an amazing tank to play as. Your side armor, people will go through this armor. Surprisingly, the effect, the thickness keeps here. 20, 26. So, this tank will be immune to 50 cals, which I'll go over the M13 soon. This tank will be kind of immune to 50 cals in the back and coaxial because it's kind of like a KV-1 in that sense, where it has the, the same um, effective thickness all around the tank. And that's why I really like it. Now, before we go to the M13, let's go over the guns of the M3A1 Stuart and the M2. M2 has an M3 cannon, and the M3A1 Stuart has an M6. I don't know the difference, because I don't play War Thunder, and I don't really... I don't... No, I do play War Thunder, but I don't pay attention to that stuff. I would always use the M5 one-shot, because it has 66 armors, 66 mils of penetration on the M2, and 78 on the Stuart. I'd, I'd use it on the Stuart mostly. If you're feeling cheeky, then use the, you know, hard-earned sausage round you want to use. But basically, this shrapnels more than this, and that it basically gives you more a higher chance of shrapneling and killing another crew member. And these are solid shots, so you won't explode any ammo that you know, you don't directly hit. And let's go on to the M13. The M13 is a multi-purpose truck. It is called an anti-air, but if no, there's no anti, if there's no air in the, if there's no air in the sky, there's mostly no air in the sky when you're playing this truck, because this truck will shoot down all the planes in the sky. The 50 cows are American 50 cows. They literally shred through enemy planes. As you can see, the AP rounds, which has the most armor piercing, has 25 millimeters of armor piercing at 100 meters, so you'll be shredding. I mean shredding through BT-5s. Look, they only have 20 millimeters. That's the, the strongest point of the armor is 20 millimeters. You'll be shredding through these guys. You'll be shredding through the BT-7s. You'll be shredding through the T-26s. Uh, the T-60s is a bit trolly. You won't get through these guys because of their mantlet, but you definitely will get through their sides. You'll definitely be trolling all, you know, all low tier, even the Zis-30, but that's 2.7s, and 
we'll go over those guys in the next episode. Now, going on about this truck, you have 12 millimeters of armor here, which just stops coaxial machine guns from killing your commander and driver from the front. Overall, you just have, they call it rolled homogeneous armor, but it's just metal. I mean, you're not going to stop anything. The strongest part of the truck is, like, the gun, which is 60 millimeters thick. So, you know, and your ammo's attached to the gun, so basically, don't want to get caught in this thing. And, yeah, that's mostly it for my explaining of these tanks. Now, uh, hopefully my mic doesn't cut out. Let's get right into the battle. Alright, welcome to Port Nagasaki, or wherever this place is. I'm pretty sure it's in Russia. Uh, today, we are... Oh, today, <laughs> we're gonna go rush the A point. As I said, I like using this little this little tool okay, for rushing the A point. As you can see, it has some cool browning. I really like the, the browning on it. I just wish the machine gun didn't sound like an automatic nerf gun. But, you know, whatever. Oh, still cut down the tree because I'm a savage. All right, uh, first enemy contact is nearing. I sense, I sense him with my magical Stuart powers. Oh boy, okay. this is good. We're at the cat point first, so the average uh, speed of this thing in arcade, I don't play realistic because. Realistic is too much of a slow-paced game for me, even when you're at 1.0s. Average speed of this is 90, M uh, 90 mph. 30 mph. I don't know what that is in kilometers. You find that out. Um, so yeah, let's focus on the game here. Capture the zone. Surprise? No. Okay. I'm. S yeah, I was surprised. I was said. I was about to say. I was surprised. No enemies came and flunked me. This guy is the right idea. Okay, we missed. Uh oh. We're on our map. Let's see if we can flank. Okay, okay. Uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is this is not fun. Is, get me out of here. Help. 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 Get get me out. Saving private. Waiting. No! I like this game. I like this game. I like this game. All right, guys. Okay, we're back. We're in the M2 now. I'm gonna give you some nice medium tank. Let's call artillery on those scrubs over there who shot me. All right. So as you can see here, we got the six Browning machine guns that will shrek through all the anti-aircraft vehicles and lightly armored vehicles. Okay. Let's go, boys. Oh, there's a little M2A4. Now, the only- the, the people that play low tier tanks are either people like me, who just- Oh! You see that? You see that? Artillery is deadly at tier 1. You need to use it. You need to modify it, get it. Do as- do- okay. Let me focus on the game. Oh, boy. Okay, hit him in the engine. Oh no, no, that's a Japard. Japard, no, the Japard, stop it, stop it, stop. No, no, no. Ah, oh, Japards are so just not fun. Yes. See how that doesn't do anything. Solid shot shells. Ten out of ten. Okay, we're calling artillery on those guys. You see, they can't pen this armor. This guy cannot pen the armor on this thing. And you see how so- mm. Alright, we're back with the M13 motor, motor, motor carriage. We're going to shoot down some enemy planes. As you see, I'm going to get in this plane battle and hopefully destroy this enemy plane. Our, oh, they gave us a yak. Yakety yak, don't talk back. Let's go! Light him up! Seriously. <sighs> Thanks for the kill. Okay. Oh! 
Alright, we have a 20 mil. Let's go for the Jepard. Little flak. Little flak truck. Let me get this guy. Oh, it's a Dishka. It's a Taliban truck. Yes! <laughs> you see, you see how, you see, you see. Uh, 1.0s are so fun. Yeah. The weird thing, the only, only country's 50 cows that work are like the American 50 cows. Alright. Back in the M13, which is scouted out for ourselves at... Over in this area are some BT-5s. Like I showed you in the beginning, we could totally pen these guys. So let's have a cheeky little flank. Okay. We need to defend the A point. Okay. Let's call some artillery in their general vicinity. Okay. It's a BT-5. BT-5. Let's light these, let's light these boys up. Yes! Enemy down. Okay. But the thing we need to remember. Thanks for. Ch oh, you see, critical hit. Oh! I just. I, 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 I have no words. I think I just got two kills with my artillery there. Alright, let's go. Flanky flank. Yakety yak, don't talk back. Where? Oh! oh! Artillery! Our target undamaged. Oh! Oh! Yeah, show me that. Oh, oh yes. Light. Oh, show me the. Mm. Yes, all the. Oh. Just. 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 Oh! Mm. Uh, enemy plane? Let's actually do our job. Get a new crewmate while we're at it. Okay, we're reloading. Oh, I just... I just... This is not a... Okay, don't do this what I'm doing. You're repairing in the middle of an open field. That's a no-no. Oh! Oh, you see that? That is how you play the game. Just gotta get the M13. Gonna get in a bomber. Yes! Oh my gosh. I'm an... Oh, this, th this, this. Okay, we might. Okay, oh, we're in this Australian thing. Okay. Oh no, the entire enemy teams come to shoot me down. They do not want me bombing them. Also, bombs are very uh, versatile in this mode. So let's do a cheeky two bomb there. Let's leave the plane. I. I. This game, I like this game a lot. I like, I like this game so much. It's my favorite game. Okay, it's okay. Just one more. One more then. One more then. I have to do the next episode. Oh yeah. I'm just Welcome to the forests of Hiroshima or wherever we are. Today we are going to rush the A point again in the little Stuart. Yay! Now when I piece together this episode, I'm gonna make sure I show all the juicy stuff. So yeah. Right now we're gonna This is a pretty small map, so I think I'm just gonna leave the f camera rolling here. Alright. Oh god, I don't know where I'm going. Honestly, honestly, I, I only I only played this map a few times when on in high tiers, but like honestly, I don't. Oh! I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I I do not know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I I turned a corner and this thing just shows up to my house, like. Okay, looking at the map, I just went into the enemy spawn, and that was not a smart thing for me to invest my life into, so 
Let's play some M2. Right, we're gonna go to the A point. It's gonna be happy, cheeky boy time. Hey, at least there's no Tiger 2s. I mean, we'll get, we'll get. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Are you seriously serious right now? Ah, oh, man. Alright, it's call artillery on the this guy. Which means he'll die soon. Oh, hey there, buddy. Got your loader. Whoa! Whoa! Wait! You're, you're ganging up on me? Heck no. Oh, no. No. Please. 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 Who's alive? Okay, this guy is being sh- <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> we're, we're back. Let's play some g -g 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 great tanks. Oh, there's the stu Oh, there's Ch Crusader Mark II. All right, we're gonna go full spaghetti, full Frankfurt hot dogs on these guys. I'm gonna rush their spawn with my 30 NPH half track that can pen BT7s from the front. Let's go. Got a Panzer, Jaeger, whatever this. Pa I I played, I played that that time. Oh, oh, I'll save you. Oh yeah, get him. Got your gunner. There you go. I saved you. I feel I feel happy. Look at this thing's. Uh, I was about to say depression, but it's 250 cas like. I don't understand. You don't need depression in this thing. You don't. Because it's so wibbly wobbly. Okay. We'll start talking about depression and rounds in the in the in the later tiers, but right now, tier one, oh, it's a chapard. Yes! It's for killing me all those times! Oh. Well, thanks for stealing my kill. Uh <gasps> Uh oh, lead bacon is gonna start an air battle. It's my time to shine. Yes! There's lead bacon. Light him up. Far range 50 cows. Oh god. Reload the gun. No. Reload it before he commits Sudoku. <gasps> it's a PT5. 50 cows! Yes! When you pen a BT5 from the front with the 50 cal greatness is yes ah uh, trollolol uh oh no this guy's just killed my friend i will save you comrade yes <gasps> it's a japard light him up don't get my friends like that I don't even know if you did it, but shepards are bad. Oh god, what was that? Oh no, no, was that a plane? This is a Sudoku plane, what the heck? I don't know. Alright, I don't know about you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, first, let's, let's get in an air battle with this plane. Okay, let's get to cover, like we learned last time. That, my recording didn't save last time, I forgot. Alright, okay, HE-112. The Boogaloo of Ages. He's on fire. I don't want to worry about him. It's a Butamus Buford. Okay. Light him up. Got the Boogaloo. Okay. For some reason, British plane is immune to Russian 20 mils. Hello? Where are you? What the heck is this guy's problem in dying? Like... You're just- oh! Touché, good sir, touché. Oh! I killed him. That's pretty good. There's a Tetrarch over here. Uh, he's gonna be a- I'm gonna be cheeky.
Watch how cheeky I'm gonna be. Uh oh. Oh no, it's it's a fellow M13. Uh oh, Call, wh where is he? Uh, uh, uh. GG. Ooh, right in the pelvis. And on that note, ooh, I unlocked a winter camouflage for the M13. On that note, I would like to thank you all for watching my first episode of the American Tank Tree with me, the Goodster. So long and goodbye.